Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. I'm now joined by Saiza Onoue, who's Director, Telecommunication Standardization Bureau of ITU, of course. Good to have you here. So tell me, what does the summit aim to achieve? Actually, the, as, uh, as its name suggests, AI for Good Summit uh, aims to find uh, AI for good or positive thing to ensure that the AI solutions uh, 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 accelerate the f toward the sustainable development goals. This is the main goal. But the recent uh, rise of the generative AI uh, that has uh, in I intensified the uh, discussion on AI governance. So uh, with that, that background, uh, this summit uh, has some uh, functioning as a platform to discuss global AI, uh, AI governance uh, to facilitate some discussion for the uh, finding about the some kind of frameworks or guardrails to support uh, safe and responsible AI. So we need to uh, careful about this. Yeah. Okay. And so, why does the ITU organize this summit, and how does it further its mission as an organization? Yeah. Uh, essential. The essential uh, value of ITU is uh, that we foster the collaboration to support innovation on a global scale. So uh, this summit uh, brings uh, people together and to achieve, uh, create some uh, impactful partnerships. So that was a, a major motivation for launching AI for Good in 17, no, no, 2017. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we need to continue that such activities. Yeah. Okay, share a few examples of these ITU contributions. Yeah, actually we have our, uh, some activities on standardization. Uh, AI and machine learning becomes an uh, uh, important part of the ITU standardization uh, in some areas such as uh, uh, net network uh, automation and also the some uh, multimedia coding and uh, um, environmental efficiencies. Uh, so uh, for this, just one example is, uh, uh, we are offering, one of the examples they are the offering is a pipeline architecture to implement uh, machine learning into a 5G or future networks. Also, we have some other focus group activities uh, with a collaboration with other organizations. Uh, for example, uh, we, we have a focus group uh, for the AI and IoT for digital agriculture. This is a collaboration under the, with the uh, FAO. Also, we have a, a focus group on AI, a, AI for natural disaster management. Uh, this is a collaboration with the uh, WMO and UNDP, UNEP. Also, we have a, a a focus group on AI for health uh, with a uh, WHO. Uh, actually, just yesterday, we announced that we will scale up these activities to uh, by establishing the uh, global global initiative for uh, AI for health uh, together with the uh, WHO and uh, WIPO. Okay, interesting. So finally. What are the reasons, and, I, and there's lots of reasons, to be optimistic about AI f be a, being a force for good? Tell me about that. Uh, it's, uh, I think that it's just because of our effort. Uh, we are trying to find uh, AI for good uh, to, so that we, we could be uh, optimistic uh, about AI. Uh, we need to continue such effort uh, considering the, uh, governance and, uh, as well as technologies. Uh, but I would say that uh, optimistic or not, that's uh, different from the uh, country's country, from the culture to culture. Actually, I see some uh, Western movies uh, that depic uh, depict uh, fears. But in Japan, most cases, uh, AI 
AI robot, AI robot is always on the side of justice. Uh, that's very different culture, so we, we need to discuss such issues as well. Yeah. Okay, really interesting, so, uh, especially on the cultural differences on yeah, appreciation of AI as a force. So anyway, thank you very much, Saiza Ononi, Director of Telecommunication Standardization Bureau of ITU. And we'll have much more on AI for Good Global Summit right here. Stay with us.